ขยับตรงด้วยเดี๋ยวพี่แก้ It is getting cold in New York in October. Welcome back, everyone. Today we are going to unbox and review the legendary Mad Cats TE2 Plus. You have probably seen this in many tournaments. Uh, this is a very popular fight stick. Perhaps this is Daigo's favorite fight stick. Let's go back in time, going all the way back to 2016. Capcom Cup, Daigo right there, uh, packing up the fight stick. 2016, Stunfest right there, handshake with Haitani. 2016, CEO tournament right there with the Japanese version of this fight stick. It has a black uh, color design. And you can also see Tokido using this fight stick uh, with the, the red Street Fighter V design. But they're both using the same fight stick. Moving on to 2017, the Abuget Cup. Right there preparing the stick 2017 Red Bull tournament right there with a quick shot of the stick. Esport festival right there on his lap. CEO right there getting up with Mana RD, HX Showdown. Uh, Punk and Daigo swap controllers. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, it is quite funny. Take a look at it. And 2017 Evo Daigo right there with the fight stick. Moving to 2018, Daigo got a customized version uh, with the Red Bull design on this fight stick. So it's going to be the same fight stick, but just with a Red Bull design. So. 2018 Red Bull Tournament right there with a close-up shot of that stick. 2018 EFHK Tournament right there curling the wire. SoCal Regionals right there getting up. Uh, 2018 EVO uh, Daigo getting up. And 2018 EVO Japan right there with the Street Fighter V artwork fight stick. And now in 2019 you have NoCal Regionals Daigo with the fight stick and combo breaker in 2019 with Daigo still using the same fight stick and those were a handful of um, major tournaments there are many many tournaments that Daigo attend using this fight stick but I don't think you want to hear me list them all because it would be very boring to watch so 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019 Daigo using this fight stick in so many tournaments perhaps this may be Daigo's favorite fight stick and many players consider this fight stick to be the king of fight sticks is that true is that statement valid let's open it and find out together so I put the fight stick back in the corporate box because I want to take a minute to show you guys something you can see all the Madcast TE2 plus labeling on each side so this is not just a typical shipping cardboard box. It is actually part of the, the stick packaging. And it's very heavy duty. So as we open it on this side, you're gonna see another piece of cardboard. The, what's the, what's the, the advantage of this piece of cardboard is that, so that when you are cutting it open with a blade, that way you have this protection right here so you don't cut into the, the actual box or the product so it's very thoughtful for them to have this extra piece of, of uh, cardboard this one is actually on the other end in case if you open this box like on the on from the bottom so very thoughtful for them to put this in here and also for in the box, you're also going to see four of these little guys. Oh, it's very hard to pick out, but you're going to see four of these uh, foams on each corner to give you that extra protection. And what these does, it also raises, kind of raises the product itself. So if there's any puncture or if the, the box gets broken, there is this space to protect the actual box so a lot of good protection protection uh, for this product so this is the type of protection you get 
for a premium all casing. Oh, it's very heavy. Very heavy. Let me put this away. So it looks like that. Okay. And the other one is, let me show you right here, in case if you open it from the other side. So very thoughtful. Even the box is heavy. Oh, so beautiful, beautiful box design. Let me show you that the side, the back, the other side. It's got that handle for easy carrying. The bottom, it has four uh, clear seal on the side. So that it indicates that it's not open. Well, very nice uh, design for the packaging. Now let's open this guy. I'm just gonna use a sim popper because there's only four clear seals on each corner. Very easy. By the way, guys, Mad Cats is not fully our business. Uh, so they were purchased by a different company. So now they're under the name Mad Cats Global uh, Global Limited. So they make uh, they make computer gaming products now, like mouse, keyboard, headsets. So they're gonna compete with Razer. Um, are they going to make uh, arcade sticks? I would love them to, but I don't think they are going to because before they went out of business. Um, Mad Cat owns a company called SciTech and SciTech makes the it's basically the department that makes the arcade for Mad Cat. So when they were going out of business, Mad Cat has has to sell everything, including SciTech. So SciTech is now owned by Logitech. So in the future you may see fight sticks um, from Logitech. If, if they do make Fight sticks is gonna be very similar to the Mad Cat's Fight sticks because it's the same company, SciTech, that were that used to make uh, controllers for Mad Cat. So we'll see when the PlayStation 5 comes out. We're gonna see a lot more products. Okay. So I think we just push this down and slide this out. Okay. They really focus on that packaging right here. So a white box with the slashes here and the logo and the slashes here. The bottom, we got anything? Nope. So just like the regular Pull tap and then here we show you guys the camera angle just like that so even more protection more foams more protection so you got a cardboard box you got four foams on the corner you got that spacing you got another um, cover box and then you got this box you got even more foams and the spacing, so there's a lot of protection in here. A lot of protection for a beautiful arcade stick. Customers love that. Okay. I think. Now let me just take this out. It's gonna come out with the four foams. And what's in the box is tape. Oops, I think I ripped it. Okay. Let me put this aside. This is a little packaging with the manual and your screwdriver. And you got some stickers, Mad Cat stickers. And then you have a little bit of manual, paperwork document. legal stuff and things like that 
And then this is the most important thing in this little Ziploc bag. You got your handy screwdriver. One side is flathead and one side is a hexagon because that, that's the two types of screws inside the, the vice stick. And let's see. And this is also magnetic. That's the detail that they put in. Look. You see here? I, I love that. Magnetic. Let me see the other side. The other side is not magnetic. The other side is, uh, is held together by force because it's uh, yeah, it's not, not magnetic, but the other side is. So this one is going to go inside, so we leave it in here. So, oh, got the four foams. Put it aside. Oops. And now we got this beautiful face stick. Get the front angle. Get the different view. Get the the side, and then the side, and the back. Amazing. Now let's go over the fight stick. So on the front here, we have the tournament grade eight Sama buttons, and you have your Sama lever. You have the PlayStation button here. You have the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, toggle switch, the lock button, the left stick, D-pad, right stick, and you have your touchpad with the logo on it. You have your player light indicator. You have your L3 and R3 button on the top here. Uh, notice this red bezel. You can actually switch that to a different color. And for the artwork, this arcade stick has an easy access uh, for you to change the artwork. So there is, you have the bezel and then there is a clear, either plexiglass or clear plastic layer. And then under that layer is your artwork. So you can take that out. Uh, I'll show you in a second. Okay. And on the back here, you have your cable connection right here on the top. You have your start and option button and your share and select button on here and a very important thing here is you have these metal posts for your strap you can put your strap onto these metal posts and carry it on your back just like a kind of like a messenger bag you don't really you don't see you don't see these in a lot of our case sticks so it's very rare that this feature is here and on the Back here also, you have a um, the padding for the, the hole. I like how they put it for the hole, like bottom of the fight stick. Because uh, a lot of fight sticks, they only either give you the corners or they give you two little uh, strips of padding. But I wish they give a, they put a rubber padding instead instead of this, this is foam. So I wish they put a, the rubber one because the rubber one, it gives it more grip. Uh, and it makes the stick heavier uh, but this is not a big deal I think if it comes off you can always just buy a new padding and just glue it on or something like that All right. now another beautiful feature for this fight stick is this button right here you press it and then you lift heavy right here another beautiful feature for this fight stick it is easy access to the internal let me mention this before I forget this the hinge is very strong as you can see it, it doesn't move easily so if I'm trying to tilt this as you can see the whole thing comes comes up at any angle no if I press this down a little bit at any angle, let me give you this angle. At any angle, the whole or case that comes up. Even at, if I move it down, it comes. 
So the hinge is, is not like flimsy or weak. It is actually very strong. As you can see, it's picking up the whole, it's, it's so strong that it's picking up the whole uh, fight stick at any angle, as you can see. Look, it's very strong. So it's not, it's not weak, so you can't open it with one hand, you actually need two hands and you need a lot of force to open this. If it ever gets loose, I think you can tighten it, but it is very strong. It is the, quality, the build quality is very good on those hinges. So I just want to get that, uh, show you guys that. And here you have your square gate, you have your easy access to your lever, your buttons, and we have a... For this little guy, the little tool that we have can sit right in in here. There's a little space that they put in here for us to put that um, screwdriver. Um, and then there's a little room here. I think you can put two buttons here. And this little uh, foam can come off. You want to put other things in there, I guess. Uh, notice there's a lot of screws in here. I'm looking at these like 40 screws. That's good because uh, that means you can easily customize it without breaking anything. If anything, because a lot of fight sticks, they, they're either glue on or they made it in a way that is very hard to customize. So I like how everything is screw, uh, screw on. And so everything can be very clean if you're customizing it. And the, this is, these are the, uh, the hex screws I was talking about. If you want to change the artwork, so you have a metal panel, and then you have your 3 you artwork, and then you have that plexiglass, and then you have the bezel. So if you want to switch out the artwork, you just take this screw, and you just take these hex screws and uh, screws off, and you can change the artwork easily. And then you have your your cable. Uh, I think this is about almost 10 feet, and this is also like screw on, so that way it doesn't get loose easily. But I wish this cable is uh, fabric knitted, like the the newer the newer fight sticks. But this is a an older fight stick that was made uh, a few years ago. So back then, this was pretty much the the standard. But I think if they were to make a, a newer fight stick now, the cables are a little bit fancier, but this is still not bad. Okay. Uh, but as I always say, these compartments doesn't really make sense because it's only good the first time you take it out. Uh, if, you, if you know what I mean, like once you use this, it's pretty much impossible to put it back into that compartment. So I really don't understand why companies still think players can actually put that cable back into this slim compartment. So a lot of times I just put it in in like the bigger compartments or put it outside. So the companies have to stop designing something like this. Um, yeah, and the PCB is right under this compartment and it is screwed down by two screws. So if you ever want to uh, do customization on the PCP, it is right under this plastic. Um, a lot of room over here, uh, feels very good. Um, yeah. And the sound, that sound great by the way. Let's listen to it again. Now let's do a quick sound test of the Mad Cats TE2 Plus uh, versus the Razer Panthera. Um, they're pretty much, they're basically exactly the same. They're both Street Fighter V edition fight sticks and they're both using the same tournament grade Sama parts. So they should sound exactly the same. Uh, Mad Cats, Razer, Mad Cats, Razer, exactly the same. But the Hayabusa will sound exactly different. So, Sama, Hayabusa. Hayabusa sounds a lot 
louder and sharper but they're both excellent uh, buttons all right let's try this out I like the low profile and the wide shape Nash round one come jump nope Grab, stay in the corner. Nice. Oh. Fireball, fireball. Sight, shot it, shot it, shot it. Pa, pa, pa. Sonic Boom I need the Raging Beam in here Don't jump oh. Can I catch him with the Raging Beam in? I need him to hit me though Hit me, hit me. Okay. Hit me, hit me. Okay, okay, we got it. Imagine he hit me with the super and stuns me. Okay, we got it. There we go. Oh yeah. Don't do it. Did we get him? I I think we did. Oh yeah. Hey yo. Very beautiful stick. In conclusion, let's quickly go over all the features again. Number one, there's the nice beautiful body. You can definitely tell they put in a lot of work to give you that shape, to give you the curve and the details on the fight stick. Number two, it is heavy, it is wide, so it sits comfortably on your lap. Uh, your wrist is gonna sit comfortably on the fight stick. Number three, there's the, the, the pad, the, the grip padding on the bottom so it doesn't slide around on the on the table. Number four, you have the lock button which is standard these days uh, so you accidentally won't hit any non-action buttons. Number five, uh, the trackpad. Uh, something good to have for certain consoles like the PS4. Uh, it's gonna give you some easy access to the in-game features. Uh, number six, you have the easy access to the artwork. That is a sometimes a deciding factor for someone uh, who's looking to purchase a fight stick because they want to personalize their fight stick. Uh, number seven, you have your premium tournament grade Sanwa parts. Uh, so if you have any type of fight stick, it is always good to eventually upgrade your your lever and your buttons to premium parts, whether it's Sanwa, Hayabusa, or Semisu or other brands. Uh, it's going to give you a better experience. It's going to give you better inputs. Uh, number eight, um, there is the easy access to the internals and the detachable cable. Those two are standard features these days uh, for any company that is calling their fight stick high end or premium. So if you're a company that's releasing a stick, that's considered high-end or premium um, you gotta have the detachable cables and the easy access to internals these days and lastly there is the feature the metal post there is the on this stick you can attach a strap to your fight stick. You don't really see this feature that much. There's not many sticks on the market that have this feature. So this being a older fight stick and still has this feature, this probably maybe may be the first ones to have this feature. It's gonna give you that, uh, so you don't have to keep putting this into your bag constantly at a tournament. 
So both your hands will be free. Let me see if you can. So it's gonna be like, be like that. Or you can carry it on your back. Like that. Okay. It's a good feature. So even if you're going to your friend's house, you know, it might draw a little bit of attention, but it's something, you know, something nice to have if you don't want to carry a bag or if you don't have a backpack handy. Uh, by the way, this is not, this does not come with the fight stick. Uh, this is just a, an extra strap that I have at home. But Mad Cat does make a, a strap for this, uh, they do make a Mad Cat's version strap for this uh, fight stick. I think it's about 20 bucks, but you, you can use any any um, strap. You don't have to use the Mad Cat's one. So with all that being said, um, this is still one of the best fight sticks on the market today. Uh, with all those features, uh, not only are you buying a beautiful fight stick, not only are you buying a a one of the best fight sticks. You're buying a a piece of memory. You're buying a collector's item. Um, as a fighting game player myself, this is definitely a valuable um, product fight stick to to have. Because in a few years, you're probably not going to find this fight stick anymore. Even these days, there you you can probably find a used one. There are some new ones online but they're getting more expensive and they're getting harder to find this one so if you are a collector and you love something like this um, you can you have the option to buy one while they are they're gone and if you know how to um, modify the internals you don't have to worry about let's say when the playstation 5 or 6 comes out in the future if you know how to mess with the internals, you can always take a, let's say a PlayStation 5 controller and put that internal into this frame framework, just like how people take a vintage car and put in new parts, new transmission, new engines, and still run, run the car. So you can take later on like the newer PCBs, the, the newer components and put it inside this uh, body and still use this in the future. Um, it's gonna take you, you're gonna have to probably watch a video, but it's not hard, you know But lastly to answer the question is this uh, The king of all fight sticks I would agree. This is one of the kings. It still has a lot of features for this price uh, Still one of the best controllers today. So this is definitely we can't go wrong if you have something like this or if you purchase this this is still one of the best and also this our case this fight stick uh, I think has one of the lowest input lag out there with all the fight sticks on the market this one has one of the lowest um, so that is a very good a lot of people actually look for those so yeah lastly if you have any questions don't uh, don't hesitate to just leave a the question below like comment subscribe is always going to be helpful uh, for a small channel and thank you guys for for subscribing and i'll see you guys on the next one